I'm Ryan and this is Demos in the Dark. We're looking at two pedals tonight. We're not going to do a terribly deep dive into either of them, but I wanted to give you some sound samples. This is the Sick As. We know the Sick As. It has been around for a while. I've had probably two of them and they both suffered the same fate where I loaned them to someone and then I completely forgot about it and they forgot where it came from and I don't even know where they are anymore. So I need to get a third right here. Then there is the Sick As High Shred Room. Room. And that's a little bit of a different beast. We're going to talk about this and this and how they're different and how I would use either of them. All right, we're going to start out with the Sick As, and this is a pedal that a lot of low gain drive people love, and I certainly know why. It's got a really, really nice chime to it, almost clon like in some ways, and then it has this really, really great compression toggle on it that is really useful, and it's, it's super useful as like an always on pedal or a base for your drive or if you are like me you don't necessarily always get up into high gain it's a really good gain pedal so i have this lockhorn instrument zipper here with these beautiful righteous sound pickups in here and i'm running into a silk tone amp silk tone amp sounds like this <laughs> Super cool, the mids let you pop a little bit in a mix and it sounds just great, tightens everything up. Really, really cool pedal to have in your arsenal. So I'm gonna run it down here on a mix, then come on back, we'll look at the high shred room and I'll run that down in a completely different kind of mix.
own a Marshall amplifier, you know that your choice in pedals is pretty limited. A lot of those drive pedals, they'll crowd the mids, they'll over-compress, adding to the already compressed amplifier that you're plugged into, and it usually just sounds like <laughs> Your high shred room aims to solve that problem by uncrowding the mids, pulling back on the compression a little bit, and also just juicing the heck out of the gain. So we are going to plug into a Marshall. I do have a JCM 800 here that I love a lot, but I also have this Pasadena Rose from Henry Amplification, which is based on Eddie Van Halen's amp. And this one uh, just sounds better. So we're gonna do it. All right, so I have a Dunwell guitar, it's USA, and I'm running into that Pasadena Rose without anything in there. It sounds like this. <laughs> That did not interfere with the Pasadena Rose at all. The mids, it stayed right out of them. Not too much compression. Even with the compression on, it wasn't too compressed. It met the compression of the tubes, and it sounds awesome. So now I'm going to run that down on a mix. Mm -hmm. 